Hey everybody, this is Zachary Nasser with Conscious Marketing Made Easy. We are easy up in here. Hey, so remember what I said last time? I'm in my room drinking some wine. But what I said last time was that I was going to tell you how you can start changing the world with social media and internet marketing today. And I didn't deliver on that promise. And so if you watch my last video and you're wondering, wait, how did he do social media marketing? Right now, here's your answer. <coughs> Are you ready? Are you listening? Create a Facebook fan page. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Maybe it changed well. I've tried that before. I don't know if it really, I don't know if it really works. I couldn't I could only get like my cousin to like my page. I told my friends to to you know to like share on their wall. Have you ever seen this where people ask their friends to share their business or service on their wall so that they can gather more likes? But if there's no context it doesn't work. You know? It's just like just oh well, you just like share it and pass it along and you know, there's only so many friends that you can cycle through to get likes for. So that's where the marketing really comes in. And why Facebook? We talked about this a little bit. 20% of all time online is spent on Facebook. And now, Facebook mobile is becoming huge, especially for advertising. You know, the thumbs control it all, they are saying. Because now, <clears throat> most of the time we're on the internet, it's on the phone. You know, and um, and it's amazing how big of a part of our lives Facebook has become on a personal level. And now there's also the kind of mirror of that, and we kind of talked about, you know, how some people think that social media is rotting society and destroying it. Um, so here's an example of that: Facebook mines all of your data. They keep all of your data. They sell your data to advertisers, like me. <laughs> um, and so there's a way that they do this, and it is the most sophisticated arm. It is the most sophisticated level of marketing that has ever been developed. What do I mean by that? If you look at a street sign, or not a street sign, a billboard. You're driving down the street, and you see a billboard. You know, and it's like, does advertising work? Just did. Call 1-800-blah-blah-blah. Okay, so yeah, I looked at it. I got an impression. But did I call that number? No, I mean, no. But here's the thing about it. You don't know how many people looked, and then how many people saw it, and then out of how many people saw it, you don't know how many called you from that. I mean, you know at the end how many called you. But you don't know, was it radio ads that got those people in, or was it you know, my billboard, and like, you know, sometimes you ask people, but with Facebook, they're storing all the data, where I can see a thousand people saw my ad, 100 people clicked it, that's pretty good, then when they get to the, you know, video, or the, the video opt-in, where they can put in their email and get some cool free gift I gave them, it can you can track it every step of the way to the sales page to the thank you page to the you know get back to Facebook page you can track the whole thing through and you can see every single percentage of how your marketing worked and then you can tweak single words or images and you can watch how it changes now that sounds like well yeah that's pretty cool but with Google AdWords, you just you know what people are searching for on Google, and that's the data that's being cataloged. Google also data mines you, but that's that's the data that they get is just what you search for. In Facebook, they know where you live, where you live, where your phone number is, what your email is, uh, where you went to high school. Do you like Tony Robbins or Oprah? Uh, did you work at this place with these people? Who are all of your friends and what do they like? Where do they live? You can target ads down to the zip code. Okay. 
they actually have mobile ads now that can track you to your exact location and like let's say I have a coffee shop and it's like downtown and people are shopping for Christmas I could say 10% off on peppermint mochas right now in the area and Facebook can time their algorithms to send it only to people who are in the immediate area who are currently in that area not like like you can market to someone's zip code if it's like a local business that's cool too but they can do mobile ad, mobile ads that can target where you are right now and if you're close to a certain business if they're paying for it they can give you that kind of right in your face it used to be that you needed that undivided attention like a Super Bowl ad that costs you gazillions of dollars and Pepsi will pay Britney Spears to come out and do stuff you know but that's not the way the world works anymore marketing and advertising is changing there's no like undivided attention our attentions go in a million different directions we've got multiple social media things on multiple devices you know, and all these like accounts and email subscriptions and like blah, 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 you know, and it's amazing. It has terrible implications as well, but it's amazing because now we have the power to market great things that improve people's lives, that do good things for the world. We can promote those things like billion dollar marketing firms. It used to take tons of money to get all these radio spots and we got them a guest spot on Oprah and we need a PR team and a team of makeup artists and like it took a lot of money and PR to like build somebody up to like a huge status like that. If you do your marketing right and you add value to people's lives, you can host you can easily get a hundred or a thousand people to a webinar if you market it right, if you market it correctly or efficiently, let's say efficiently. There's a lot of creative wiggle room, but the point is, does it efficiently convert? But if you do it right, a hundred people, that's like packing out one of those big hotel rooms, you know? I know multi-million dollar network marketers, it's like, yeah, we packed out 120 people, you know? Or like, and then there's some where they do huge rooms, you know? But it's hard to get it, I've been throwing events for years. It's hard to get that many people in the room at the same time. Okay, like physically in a room. I've put on like, you know, three-day workshop events and intensives and like, you know, retreat weekends and stuff like that. And outdoor festivals. And, and it's hard to get everybody to show up in the same place at the same time. It takes a lot of, a lot of marketing and convincing and PR. Now, to get 100 people to show up in a digital form on their phone or on their computer is a lot easier. And people frequently pack thousands of people into these kinds of webinars, which is like packing a stadium. It is far easier to get a thousand people in a, in a, in a webinar than it is to get a thousand people in a stadium. So much easier to get the people in the webinar. Okay. And it has the, it can have the same effect on your business. It can have the same effect on your business as if, you know, you have this revolutionary product that can change the world and, you know, you teach people about the benefits and you teach people about the benefits of the benefits. You'll lose weight and because of that you'll be able to play with your kids and feel good about yourself and oh my gosh all the greatest things in the world from this amazing product that will actually do amazing things because that's what we're about here is marketing the transformation the transformative experience that really enriches and changes people's lives that's what i'm about marketing because all the other crap is already being marketed that market is saturated okay we're gonna move it over here we're gonna do what actually transforms people's lives and makes it amazing and how can we get it out to everyone? And with what I just told you about Facebook mobile leads, as you can track exactly where they are at certain times, it's incredible. And it's already being used for ill. Let's use it for great reasons. 
Like, for example, Standing Rock. Okay? That's a huge thing. Huge on social media now. And it's hilarious that the mainstream media is not hardly talking about it at all. And they have this totally different story. And then you have these people live streaming on their, you know, Facebook. They're doing periscopes and Snapchats and all these things that our government doesn't even know how to regulate. They're like, what is a Snapchat? Oh, it's like this, you know, like picture. Never mind, never mind. It, it's a thing. It's a thing, you know. So people are just sending these live streams of Standing Rock, the protests about the oil pipeline going through the Native Americans' land. Okay? exploding on social media and it's hilarious that the mainstream media is pretending like it's not happening even though we're all looking at it on social media just like all the time <laughs> like now maybe some circles don't talk about it as much as as i talk about it i'm in a really progressive city in austin it's three quarters of my news feed and i like every single post i see about it i like people need to know about this i share 50 percent of them probably um but it shows you the power of social media, okay? There's a lot of companies out there who just pay for likes. And that helps when you have an offer, you know? But for a company that has, you know, billions to throw down the, down the hole, like Kraft or Nabisco or Nestle, they'll just like, buy likes, now we want to buy leads, now we want to do this, and it works for them. But if you have... A truly transformational product, class, service, message, I don't know, is it monetarily valuable? Can you can you transform people's lives with it in a way that it makes you money? Probably, if you get creative, I think you could definitely find a way. Um, but if it transforms people's lives, it starts to share itself, like I mentioned with Bernie Sanders before. When people care about it, they like it, they comment on it, and they share it. And every time they do that, Facebook sees it as being more and more relevant, and they start spreading it around. Now, there are some things that Facebook, you know, there's a lot of arguments with their censoring stuff and fake news and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, to an extent, that's true, particularly hard on the, the clickbait. The clickbait websites, that's completely false, uh, you know clickbait because they want to sell ad space so there are some negative sides to, to internet marketing there's some things that I, I wouldn't do like that like like clickbait just to drive traffic to a website just so you can sell expensive ad space that to me that's not what I'm about that's kind of sleazy that's sleazy version of internet marketing <clears throat> with the conscious marketing you're talking about adding value and enriching people's lives at a base level and that moves them along this value journey where now they know you, like you, and trust you because you've helped them out with all this stuff. And, oh my gosh, you have a product, you have a class on this with even more info or a cookbook or a, you know, a coaching thing, coaching calls, webinars, whatever you want to do, you know, a members-only area of your site, super exclusive stuff. You have something I can buy? Oh my gosh, you've enriched my life so much. I'm excited to see what comes next. And then you actually deliver on it. You actually deliver on transforming their freaking lives. I don't know if y'all have seen I Am Not Your Guru, the Tony Robbins documentary on Netflix. I highly recommend watching it. It's incredible. And whether you love it or you hate it, oh my gosh, this guy completely transforms people's lives. Completely. He's built an empire out of it. You know, he's built an empire of a whole bunch of people who are employed doing this work that they love to do. It's extremely powerful. But that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about that starts to share itself. You know, Tony Robbins says anything now, and somebody records it, and now it's a, it's a piece of content, it's going up on the internet, it's going to change lives. You know, it markets itself. But there are ways that you can build that following zero in on the target audience who you specifically want to help who you like would love to hang out with and do stuff with you know 
and you surround yourself with that kind of community, you add value to that community. And particularly, if you can scale it, if it's simple enough that you can scale it to larger and larger size to impact more and more people, you're going to have some profound implications for that transformation that results. That's starting a movement. That's what I'm about. Imagine, you know, here's what I'm about, if you want to know my mission, is starting a movement that starts other movements, that kickstarts other movements, that kickstarts other movements, that kickstarts other movements. You see where I'm going with this? It just fractally resonates that inspiration that changes people's lives. Even if you look at art, you know, people are like, well, what tangible value does art have? If it inspires you, you like see some piece of art and it's just like, oh, wow. And it just boom, and it just imprints you and you just feel this emotion and then you have a realization, you know? Or you could just walk away from it and not even think about it for a while and get inspiration later. We don't know how art works, but on an inspirational level, it transforms your feeling state your mind state, your thought patterns, and changes the way you do things in your life, then it's transformative. And it's inspirational. And now there are things like, you know, like Tony Robbins, that are, if you haven't seen it, you probably, I don't know, you might think that he's just some like inspirational speaker. Um, not really. No, he just like goes right into people's illusions and just boom, just like, I'm calling you out on this shit that's not working in your life. You're like, whoa, Tony, wow. That was intense, man. But it, 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 it gets people to that place where they can just like, whoa, like let out their feelings. And man, that is some powerful, powerful healing transformation. And there's so many of you out there that I know that have gifts that they can share. On, I don't care if it's free webinars or YouTube videos. You have skills, you have talents that you can share. There's so many of you in my wonderful friends group that that have these gifts and abilities. And I am here to show you how to get those to the world. So I like my page. And we're going to get more into the, the technical aspects of marketing as time goes on. Um, right now I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for what I desire and who I'm looking for. Those crazy people who want to change the world. You know, those passionate, inspired people who want to change the world. They have this fantastic idea, but they didn't realize 60 to 80 percent of this idea of being a success has to do with how it's marketed. Yeah. So I have been studying for years now about social media marketing and I'm just going to share share everything that I'm inspired to share. So like my page for more updates and more shares. <laughs> 